Welcome Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus to your January 2022 love reading. I'll be taking a look at your love interest. This can be anyone that you are thinking about dealing with or connecting with. And then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what is this person's current feelings for you? What do they want to tell you? Their overall energies surrounding you at this time. What is this person's current feelings for Virgo, please? What is this person? So on top of the deck you have, I'm pretending not to care. And under the deck you have, I'm weighing the pros and cons. They're acting like they don't care, but they really do. But let's go ahead and see how they're viewing you, their current feelings and actions they plan on taking. What is this person, or how is this person viewing Virgo at this time, please? How is this person viewing Virgo? What is this person's feelings for Virgo? What is this person's feelings for Virgo at this time? Ooh, what's going on, Virgo? What action? What action does this person plan on taking? Oh, I love that. That was a twist. There's a twist here, Virgo. I feel it. I really do. Under the deck, you have self-worth. So, how this person is viewing you, release. They may be viewing you like trying to release something, or maybe they're feeling like you're trying to release them. Take whichever story resonates. I'm feeling two energies. Like you may be trying to release something that's not, that has nothing to do with them, or you're trying to release them. Let's go ahead and clarify using the tarot. How is this person currently viewing Virgo? Oh, all right. King of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is in their head about you, Virgo, 100% here. They are feeling confused, trapped, they view you as someone who like is stable, you know, businessman, businesswoman, you know, well financially off here. But there's some regret here. There's some disappointment. Let's see. How is this person viewing Virgo? Oh, Virgo. Okay. This could have been a very on and off type of situation okay maybe you guys stopped talking at one point or you guys had went through some type of disconnect like you could have left this person out in the cold at one point or somehow this person feels disappointed about something you said something you did and I feel like this is past energy so now this person's feeling confused because they do see you as like this soulmate someone they can have long-term commitment with stability with they feel like you're a good fit for them, but something about the past is still lingering around. So this person may not be sure whether they want to release you or not. I feel like they're weighing the pros and cons. Again, it could be vice versa, but that's just the energies I'm feeling. Their feelings for you, deception. Let's go ahead and clarify what deception is about. Why is deception here for how this person is feeling about Virgo? Yeah, Virgo... I have two stories here. Let me just take one more card. What is this person's feelings for Virgo? Again, with this, I'm telling you. So you do have the Eight of Wands and the Star card here under the deck. So maybe you guys are in communication, and if not, they're wanting to communicate. But you, this person does see you as like their wish fulfillment, someone they've always hoped and wished for. Might be thinking, see, marriage. You could have been married to this person, or this person wants to marry you. So, but overall... One of two things, Virgo, with the deception card, either they're viewing you as someone who could possibly be cheating or lying to them or being deceptive. Doesn't mean it's true. It's just they might be feeling like you're doing this for some odd reason, maybe because of something that happened in the past. If that's not the case, then this person may be dealing with you and someone else. Could be a Leo, could be a Gemini, could be another Virgo. This person is feeling trapped or confused here. They're trying to be smart. They're trying to be wise and things they say and things they do and how they approach you, how they speak to you. 
me one more. Why is deception here for this person's feelings for Virgo? The death card, Scorpio energy. The ace of wands. And the chariot. So they have a lot of passion for you. You guys may be at a distance. Different town, different state. Does not have to be different country. Could be. This person may be paranoid. That you might be talking to someone else or hiding something from them, lying to them. Because maybe you guys recently started having a new beginning. Like maybe, like I said, you guys might have had a disconnect in the past and maybe reconciled or started talking again. But they're wondering what happened when you guys were not talking. Again, this could be very much your person's energies where maybe they have another option or they were having a new beginning when you guys stopped talking and so now they're confused i'm seeing scorpio cancer leo and gemini virgo here but there's something hidden here again this could be this person just being paranoid like they could just be being paranoid that you're talking to someone else or you know dealing with someone else or not revealing the truth but really that could just be all in their head they're in their head about this, when in reality, there might be nothing going on, right? So if you didn't do this person wrong, Virgo, if you never, you know, cheated or lied to them, then this person is simply paranoid. They're paranoid that you are talking to someone else or hiding something from them, okay? But they do very much have a lot of love for you, a lot of passion for you here. They want to move with you, move towards you have a new beginning with you all right let's go ahead and see what actions what actions does this person plan on taking towards virgo offer so i see this person making an offer virgo Let's go ahead and clarify. What action does this person plan on taking towards Virgo? Page of Wands. Okay, so they're secretly... I feel like they're going to come towards you. You could be dealing with a younger Aries Leo Sagittarius. It does not have to be. But I see them keeping an eye on you. Observing you. Or again, this person could be at a distance. Two of Swords in Reverse. A decision being made. The Wheel of Fortune, guys, this is beautiful. The Devil card, you could be connecting with the Capricorn. Two of Cups here. Give me one more for the action this person plans on taking. Yeah, so I do see this person communicating, coming forward to talk to you. For very few of you, this person may have had two options. Maybe you and with a Leo, a Gemini, or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I feel like this person's choosing you. I feel like they're coming forward to you. But that's for very, very few of you. If like if you were just casually dating this person, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with could have had two options, but I see them picking you. All right. But if that's not the case, this can simply mean them making the decision to get out of their head and to come forward and offer you commitment to be with you, to change things around for the better with the Wheel of Fortune. Bring clarity in the situation. So yeah, overall I do see this person coming forward, wanting to commit. See, let's take one more, okay? But this person has definitely been keeping an eye on you, Virgo. Alright, give me one more card for the action this person plans on taking towards Virgo. King of Cups. Okay, I'm stopping right there. Yeah, look at this. I'm look, guys. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, they're going to offer you commitment. They want to have commitment with you. They have a lot of love for you. Pretty straightforward. Celebrations coming. Maybe you guys are hanging out or you will be hanging out here in the near future. Ace of Cups. Hmm. But all right, Virgo. Let's go ahead and move on to singles. So 
what Virgo yeah I feel like the this card came out for you I'm pretending not to care because they're paranoid that you're dealing with somebody else <laughs> they're paranoid that you're not taking them serious but I see the I see that the air will be cleared here in January between you two all right who is coming towards Virgo singles and love January 2022 Hey, if, you're, if you've been thinking about moving or buying a home, I see it's some delays. Hey, you could be meeting a Pisces, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see new love for you. Three of Pentacles. You may meet this person at work. And the Temperance, Sagittarius. So I see you meeting a Sagittarius, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces. Some of you, you know, could be at a distance, does not have to be. I feel like this new person, it's going to be very balanced, very peaceful, very nurturing. I see that you guys are going to work very well together. Maybe your intuition has been, maybe you've been feeling this new person coming in or your intuition has been telling you something. Like, you know, when you sense that something is about to happen or you're about, like, that's what I feel. Like, I feel like you sense... That you're about to meet someone very significant, very important. Who is coming towards Virgo singles? King of Cups. They might have water in their chart. Yeah, I see love here, guys. Four of Swords. Don't overwork, Virgo. Take time to rest. Gemini, very passionate connection here. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this looks good. So I do see new love here. Again, you could meet this person at work. Or through like somewhere spiritual you might even meet this person through a friend or travels I'm feeling the energy where let's say someone invites you to go out right like let's say a friend tells you hey let's go to this restaurant or let's go to this get together or let's go to the store I don't know somewhere around those lines I feel like you're gonna be like ah, I don't know if I want to go but if you go I feel like you're gonna meet this person so just keep that in mind I feel like you might meet this person unexpectedly because you decide to get out of your comfort zone or you decide to just um, say yes to something so that's just the energy I'm feeling let me know how this plays out but I do feel that someone's gonna invite you somewhere and you're not going to be sure if you want to go. And then that's where you're going to meet this like new person. Or it could also be through work or through a friend. Travels for some of you as well. But all right, Virgo, this was your love reading for the first half of January 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.